Let's talk about image manipulation. Now, Bubble provides a real straightforward and easy way for you to upload your own static images, for instance, for your landing page, and for your users to upload their own images as well. Let's take a look. We can see that we have an image placeholder up here on the left, where our logo should be. And I also want to improve the design of the landing page by adding an image in this hero section as well. Let's deal with the logo first. So over in the property editor, I can see that we have static image. I'm going to now click on the image so that I can upload my own logo. Okay, I've uploaded my own logo and let's look at some image attributes. First of all, what happened when I uploaded this image? Well, if we head over to the data tab, and then go across to File Manager. And here is the image that I just uploaded. Okay, let's have a look at the layout of this image. So I can see that the width is 48 and the height is 48. I want to make this a bit smaller. So I'm going to choose 40 by 40. Yeah, that looks a bit better. I also want to add some roundness to it. So instead of it being a square, let's make it a circle. So what I'm going to do is head down on the Appearance tab to the Border Style. And I can currently see a roundness of four. Now, if I want a perfect circle, my roundness needs to be at least half the height. And I just set the height and the width to 40 pixels. So I need a minimum of 20. And there we have it. There is our beautiful logo, all set up correctly. Now I've already gone ahead of time and dragged an image into this hero section and just done a bit of layout and spacing work. Let's have a look to see what it looks like. So now I've moved this section to the left-hand side and here is the image on the right-hand side. Now let's go to the layout tab first of all and let's have a look at some properties here. So I've currently set a max width of 640. Now, I uploaded this image as a static image. I was in charge of this image, not my users, and therefore I made sure that before uploading the image that I had an aspect ratio of 3.2. And this is just personal preference. When you do upload an image, Bubble actually detects this for you. So if you check the box that says keep element as aspect ratio fixed, then Bubble will automatically add aspect ratio of the image. And this is important because of responsive design. And this is really important because uh, you want to fix the aspect ratio so that the image can scale up and scale down while keeping its proportions. Okay, but let's have a look at these properties here. So max width 640. So what I'm instructing Bubble to do is when a user is viewing the image on the page, that the max width this image can expand is 640. I could say 480. And now I can see that this has shrunk a little bit. I can shrink it even more if I'd like, 240. And it's minute. I'm gonna go back to 640, as that is a better representation of the layout that I'm after. Now I can see some other attributes here. I can see a very slight shadow around this image, like a drop shadow. So if we head back, and have a look at the Appearance tab. Scroll down to the bottom. I've set a shadow style of outset, and this allows me to then set some horizontal and vertical offsets, blur radius, spread radius, as well as the color. So the first thing I usually do is set the color to jet black, and then I change it to 7%, and that's just my personal design choice. But you can go ahead and play with those attributes yourself.